All right, so welcome back to another tutorial video of uh, Island Uphold and Analysis. Um, today we're not going to be looking over Island Uphold. We're going to go straight to uh, building a castle, which is what I wanted to do in the third segment, but uh, got slight sidetracked with um, having to build a uh, ship and showing the uh, auto run and ending auto run sequences for my new game, which was pretty cool. And I had a awesome Christmas. Merry Christmas to everybody. Um, of course, you guys might not be watching this during Christmas. <laughs> All right, so let's get right into it. Um, I've built a new map that's just called Testing Grounds. And if I ever want to just do a straight tutorial, I'll, I'll refer to this. So we're going to build a nice castle. So we start with um, a blank screen. Now I've made it uh, specifically big because we're going to get into some extreme detail uh, from, from the get-go, from scratch. You're going to go here, a right-click. I renamed the, the map castle. And you want to set the tile set to exterior. Uh, the map size should be, I guess, 100 by 50. And in this case, they do uh, length by, or width by length. So this is width and this is length. See, I get confused too. Um, they do it backwards. So I always think length width, and then I realize I'm going the wrong direction. So uh, you can see it's much more, so 100 will fit the screen perfectly uh, by 50. Uh, so this is the 50 and that's 100. And you want to click OK. Um, I'm currently set in half a zoom. I never uh, do a quarter or an eighth of a zoom because that's for like if you're making a map the size of uh, like one of those uh, Zelda Game Boy games. And those are broken into quadrants. I'm actually building a game like that that's that's as big as a eighth map, and it's just one giant, um, you know, uh, free roam. But in this case, we're making quite a big uh, area for people, and RPG makers fantastic at having scaled sizes for, you know, like certain areas, like so one to one. If you think about it, this is what your character will be seeing. I never got to go through this, but it's a good um, uh, thing to go through. Uh, one by one is what your character will be seeing. One by two is more like the bigger picture. It's just like a, 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 a nice area size. One quarter is more like a, a, a scene or a... Um, a uh, like a like a full size dungeon or some some sort of specific area that needs to be, and then one eighth is like world map. So um, we're gonna set it to one two like it's a full area, and we start with the C. So let's fix that. So we're gonna grab our greens and we're going to click on this that says rectangle, and we're gonna hold the click and uh, just drag this entire um, thing down so it's just entirely green. So now we get into where is the castle. So the castle's down here. These shingles are for houses going to be inside the castle and walls for the city. Um, let's have a, a paved way to the gates. So we're going to have our bumpy road of, of uh, there you go. And we're going to use the same, we're going to drag and Let's just say that's our road and the castle grounds is going to be, let's say about here, we'll, we'll mark it. And how we're going to mark it is we're going to take this, this is our, our, our uh, basic ground and we're just going to do that on either side. And if, if you uh, scale, you'll see how nicely that blends in. It's supposed to be the root of the castle wall. And remember how I was talking about um, upper and lower tiles? That's that's an example of, of such. Um, 
there's other options too. You can certainly, here, here, here is the, uh, uh, you can have grand steps. I was playing with this before. Um, why don't we have sort of both? So you can see how it sort of just moves in, but let's just say the, the entrance was for giant horses, right? So we're going to just take that off, take that off. And um, there we go. Put this, yeah, this middle. And you can align them like this on either end. Just make sure that you're using the ends and the middle properly. So it looks like a, a horse or a crowd is able to walk up the steps. It doesn't look half bad. Um, take this, make it a little bit wider. There you go. And um, let's say from there you dock and then there's your entrance. Okay, so you can imagine these are the steps to go up. Then once we've done that, we're going to take our, our ground walls and put them on either side and then just, oh, you can see it. So, on, so these are called edges and what happens in the middle um, stays. So if you scale in once again, you can see how they're kind of cut. We don't, we don't want that. So grab one of your middle ones and just, uh, yeah, nicely smooth them over. Grab this as an, as an end, uh, wherever you want to place the end. Let's place it here so we have some room. And then just nicely touch, touch, touch the uh, yeah, scale. Yeah. Scale that touch and do the same thing over here. There we go. Um, if you get rid of that last one. Okay, so we have three spaces. Three spaces, nice. So we have, um, and you can adjust. What's nice is you can have this slightly adjust, right? You can go in here and say, I actually wanted the map to be slightly longer. So let's just say 55, say okay. And it will add to the bottom, not the top. Uh, so, it will it will default it as as blue as blue perhaps there's a, a small moat here we can just pretend um, if you want to fix that uh, adjust accordingly and uh, we can just add that as a as a default or or how about this there we go so there's our moat let's grab this our wooden moat uh, use the sides right so drag click and drag and fill in that middle. There we go. Awesome. So this is coming along pretty okay. Uh, now let's build the uh, four turrets. So right now we have a set of turrets here. So one, two, three. And your base of the turret is going to be this. So we have it as a two scale. So that's important. So let's just say that's the uh, edge of it and how high you want it to be is uh, entirely up to you so we're still on uh, select and you can just hold drag and click to the right and um, just move your mouse up and that can give you a size of the tower so we want it to scale so that it's um, probably higher than the the steps that took it uh, inwards and we're gonna say that this is gonna be the rest of the castle grounds so scale up, 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 up. Uh, by no means do you need to make your castle like this. <laughs> Again, this is just, yeah, like a tutorial to, to get you guys uh, going. Uh, just some ideas. And um, perhaps we want a couple of peepholes in the middle. So it gives that sense of, uh, uh, you can, you, yeah, you can see it. Uh, gives it that, yeah, that sense of um, space and uh, direction. 
Let's do the same thing over here. Hold and then move it up so it's going to be pretty close to that. Yep, there we go. And you can have these on different levels. I'm sure the medieval people weren't super perfect with all that. And to top off when you're done, take this at the top and then do that. But you haven't seen the, uh, the, the other half because that's reserved for the second layer. Okay, so now we have where the, the front ends are. And as we all know, um, these uh, castles, they have um, uh, pillars for the, the back end, right? Um, uh, you might want to make the uh, the length. I can start seeing the, the length here being possibly an issue. Uh, slightly long, uh, longer, so that you have the chance to balance out um i guess the, the 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 size of the castle i'm it looks like i'm going big so let's just see where i where i wind up um now that we've got an idea of where the the, the front is we're going to take this and th this is your front wall so just keep that in note and you can see that these cuts are the same as like the ends so take this Take the bottom, because this is the bottom, put two here, and that signals, hey, that's the end of the wall. Take a, 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 a middle piece, or these two pieces, and just drag along until you've reached that edge. And you can see that that, uh, there we go, yep. And do the same thing over here, and voila. Uh, this right here um, is your upper wall. So now that you have that into the ground and then this, uh, you can actually double layer this or triple layer it to your liking. I'll show you what that looks like um, in a moment. Let's just double layer it. Might not look good for what you have in mind, but so far not so bad. So that's, you can see how that's rooted into the ground then there's uh, a double layer, um, but it might not work in terms of your blend. Uh, if that's the case, just grab the, um, that's that's for the side, um, and then just start scaling up, because it, it, it would look like it has shade to it. Uh, maybe not that high. And do the same thing with the other pieces. So, Whoops. Let's just say it was a double layer. And there we go. If we scale like that, then... Or or to here. We want it to kind of match where the steps lead off. That's probably best. And... Because um, if, I, if I do it too high... Um... It, it looks like you can't see where the the you you can feel like the character has moved behind here but a they won't be able to because this these are set to uh, non movable like you can't um, move them in any direction uh, so in that case it depends on how big you want your castle to look grandiose so I, I made a mistake. I'd align them to the, the level of the steps. So let's turn this, or this is your remove tool. Or no, it isn't. I apologize. Um, <laughs> okay, how you remove them is you, you pick the same format that was once here, and you're just going to do that, which is uh, get the grass back. And then repeat same format. So now we're saying the castle ends up there. This is the height of our wall. Um, and let's get rid of that lower layer. Okay, that's let's let's finish that at that height and see what the the damage is. <laughs> no, not damage. I, I jest. Um, okay. Like that, like that, and give it a nice cap there. 
Return to the green and get rid of that. Good. Or a little bit higher. Uh, yeah, let's just say this is the, 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 the edge. Okay, so if I scale back, now we have um, uh, castle grounds that are pretty decent in size. Um, let's make this top slightly larger to match the other side. Okay, now we have the front of the castle wall. So what do we do from here? And that's that's the tricky part. I'd I'd begin by having the castle grounds and how much space you want to have uh, homes, uh, taverns, etc., uh, etc. Et and to do so, we have our options of uh, tiles of the the grounds, and you can sort of mix and match too. Um, we started with this, so let's finish with it. So we drag, we drag and click and hold, and we want to cover up to here and leave this because that can be sort of the, 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 the catwalk. And let's finish so it reaches the very top, the top set. That, that looks great. Um, you, there's also these as options. Um, does that even look even better? Oh yeah, that, that looks nice. Um, now that has a blend with the castle walls and it looks like you're walking through the, co the cobble streets. So scale to the edges. Now what we're going to do is um, finish the tops. And you can see here is the upper layer or the upper top. And you can have it um, either damaged so I'll zoom in and show you what that looks like. So it has a sort of damage to it or a, a nice clean look on the top. Let's just do clean look because this is a, a, a new castle. It hasn't been destroyed. I zoom back. Um, we'll get ready to put houses in in a moment. So let's just say this is a, a house making and castle making tutorial. So that's cool. Uh, we have cobble streets. We have the beginning of our, our house, or our castle. And to align the edges, we now have these pillars. So what these pillars are going to represent is the uh, outside of the castle. Or the connecting, like you know how in... Uh, those medieval times movies, <laughs> those medieval times movies, they have, yeah, the catwalks to each um, side of the fortress. Uh, that's what this is it, by extension. And we have enough to put on either side. We might actually make it slightly long, um, but you can, you can see how this is sort of an issue because there's only two pillars. So let's be smart. Let's take this and make it so it looks like it has room. So if I zoom, we're going to take the inside edge. Sorry. We're going to take the inside edge. Um, let's say that's the, the corner. Yeah, it is the corner. And we're just going to start uh, putting the, the tops on. So this is the, uh, the castle top. And that's what gives it uh, some uh puff or uh you know what i mean like um it, it gives it some d uh three dimensional dynamics and we're going to start aligning the top like that uh so there's the the corner corner um start moving this up we can grab two at a time and uh start doing that oh and we'll have a, uh, a, 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 a pillar here too, uh, to represent it. But let's um, just do this for now. So looks very, looks pretty good. <laughs> very nice, pretty good. And align to probably about here. 
Now this is the space that's important. What we're going to do is um, uh, grab the same pattern and we're just going to drag it right there and it's it's going to be okay because uh, people can't see that or you can have it here it might look a bit cheesy and weird because it looks like um, or it might look like let's see depending on uh, yeah let's just say it's single because um, we, we, we want to make it look as accurate as we can. So let's say it just ends there. There's the corner piece. Um, and get rid of this for the time being. And uh, scale it up once again. Uh, drag and hold. There we go. Whoops. And leave it till it reaches about there on either side. Oops, let me resume. Grab this. Put it there once again, right underneath. Because it's 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 a lower layer, right? Once one you can switch and see how it looks between the two. And that's fine. Like it it, it hides it nicely. Uh, whoops. And Hold that and we're going to yeah, zoom it again so it has that that look. Now since we have this as the castle grounds, I'd probably suggest using the other tile. So this if this is the upper grounds and you can play with it, let's say this is the lower grounds, um, you can make your best judgment on which one you uh, prefer. Uh, let's let's do this for now since we've already committed to this one by having this as our catwalk and just be very careful that you're dragging uh, in between so that it gives it that sense of uh, yeah so it doesn't overlap the others and you can zoom in and see that the two tiles are noticeably different. Um, what comes next, of course, is having uh, guards um, walking up and down and having them automate as you do that. Uh, now here, this might be, nope, never mind. Oh! This this might be the uh, the tops for each. Nope, never mind. What I had in the first place was right. Uh, I I'm just trying to find a a, a dynamic sense. It, it looks it doesn't look that bad. Um, let's just keep going. And we've we've left uh, room for the third. Uh, uh, Cat or a third um, pillar, which might actually wind up being something as small as like this. Whoops, is that it? Okay, that lines. And having the pillar at the very top like this. And the reason why we don't want to make a a full sized pillar, I guess, is because we can't. It'll just it, we can it will just overlap till like you you reach a specific part so i mean you can make this slightly bigger depending on on to your liking but it's going to mean that the uh th and actually make sure that the one of the the porta holes is on the same level all it means is that it's going to stop to that um that layer so let's just say it's it stops to that layer whoops uh, that's actually a good idea put it put the corner pieces to match here put a corner piece and another corner piece and say hey uh whoops um there we go 
and leave enough for the, the just the crown top to show. If you want to have the um, the double crown, just make sure that there's space for that to be seen. Um, but if not, you can just have the the edge showing off there. Uh, let's 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 go for it. So move move the crown back and um, fill fill in that edge with grass. Uh, let me zoom in. Apologies, that does look a bit off. How did I? That's I had the. Does look a bit off now. Grab this again. Rescale it uh, back. Um, what am I doing? Oh, the remove tool is actually the pink on this. Uh, just an FYI. And the grass tool. Grab. Let's see another outlook. And there we go. Now they should be evenly aligned. Yes. Correct. There you go. And that's how it's, it's going to look. Um, so now what we've got to do is the same thing likewise with the, um, the outer, the outer wall edges for the top. So we take these top two corners and say, that's the top here. And that's the top here. And we're going to just overwrite what we have and scale that so it connects right here. Fantastic. And we take this bottom and this bottom. So we give this a single line and now we connect the uh, inner edges. So great. Now we've got a castle wall with essentially uh, four, four corners. Um, so now we have the, the inside of the castle wall. Um, how am I doing for time? Okay, we're at the 27 minute mark. So what we do inside is uh, completely up to us. Um, now that we have a sense of space, uh, we can take a look at what our options are. Let's say that uh, we want a door inside the castle, uh, or we can put it here. Uh, it doesn't look too good. Let's put it here just like that. So we can drag and click. Or we can actually take something like this, that looks pretty interesting, and just say that, let's zoom in, that's a, uh, la maybe it's a, a jail cell looking thing, but let's just say it's like a ladder into the castle, and you can um, tweak it to your uh, liking. Or you can just have one at the bottom and then say that's, that's the way in. Uh, let's see how that looks. Um, oh, sorry, forgot my own advice. Okay, uh, we're working with the tools that um, they gave us, or, or, let's do this. Um, oh, no, this side, sorry. And then put the, that, that wall back. Yeah. That's that's pretty good. So let's say there's um a a, a down a uh oh this this hasn't been been scaled completely well. Oh well the the oh no I forgot to add a there you go. But yeah yeah that one is to the other. <laughs> those those uh, builders in the medieval times weren't perfect builders. Uh, you know what you can do to solve that that issue? You can have it uh, slightly um, glide up on the, um, the the fence. Maybe just have two there instead. Nobody's really going to give you a hard time. <laughs> and then, there you go. Let's just say that's that's the to down down into the, the dungeon crypts. And then maybe you can have a uh, even better... Oh! Do they ha are they forward facing? Ah, crud. 
side facing. Um, is there any forward and uh, no? Let's say grab this and let's just say that is the the entrance or oh oh a way back up. If if you want if if of course if you want people to to go in and down you can just add that um like really uh, uh yeah really complicated castle where you have each of those four pillars on a separate map and there's a whole little uh you know area for people to explore on the inside so there you go so now we have uh, areas that said so um let's let's make this even more so cool let's say on top of the cobblestone roads we're gonna have a sort of paved route of red that that takes us to um specific stores so let's do that and pave off like that um have this go down the middle and pave off once again and the reason why I'm doing it in this sort of tree form direction is it gives you a sense of space for each house so one house here one house here tavern a this or that and you can customize that with uh, everything that's going on um, so I said this was a castle and house tutorial, which is kind of cool. Um, we're going to take the other tiles and uh, start implementing them now. So we have roofs. So you can have a blue roof and a red roof. Let's just do uh, red. So we're going to grab both. Um, let's say that this is the last uh, one on the map. And we're going to take this edge and say that's the front and that's the end uh, same concept you know there's your middle piece there's your outer sides and then this is the 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 edge of the roof and we're going to grab both hold and uh, do that um, it of course depends on how you want your roof to look if you just want it for oh Sorry, if you just want it forward down, you're going to grab this one piece, sorry, and um, scale it just like that. Sorry, I'm, I'm a bit rusty. So so that's just the front end of the house. I'll do both. So front end of the house, um, uh, these are the, the edges of the house or the, the, the pillars. So we're going to grab both uh, or this is the one end. Um, forward fit and then this is the side end on oh no these are this is the other side end and or you could use this this is a bit more accurate uh, there's two styles of course um, let's go with this style a more simpler style grab the middle and just paste or drag and hold like what we've been doing so far and let's say this is just a regular home of uh, golly who, you know, who, whoever, um, you can use this to give it like, uh, a bit of height and that will go along the back. Uh, from there, uh, you can have this over the top that says, you know, like that's like a side, um, to protect from the rain or something like that. And you can do that with the other ones as well. This, these right here are your uh, walk-in doors. Um, I apologize, I should have been more specific about that. Um, and you just want to grab those both and drag so they're sort of in the middle now. You can uh, be very stylized. You can have a, a bench. Yeah, so let's say the bench is right under the roof. It's a nice place for someone to sit and interact with. From there, we can start, let's say, putting vines on the, the building. Let's say it's grown accustomed to some vines, a nice 
uh, Mary statue. And the nice thing is because we're on the second layer, you can have it so it's just right up flush against the wall and it won't look um, too weird or anything. You can have it so that it's a little bit ahead of the wall. I always do a little bit ahead of the wall so it gives that a sense of, uh, yeah, like I said, dynamic. Same thing with uh, the castle grounds here. And the character's going to walk up, let's say they're Team Gryffindor. <laughs> there you go. A um, couple banners. I, I don't know what Imperial Legion this might be, but they're big fans. Uh, and, of course, if you want windows. And you scale it to the size of the building. So when you make an interior, and let's say it's a giant interior, you're going to have the 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 outside of of it looking slightly bigger so it gives it that sense of space once again so let's just say this is just some regular dude's house or that the, the chairman we're not going to say it's a pub or an inn we're not going to say it's a smithy an armory or a uh, uh we're, we're just going to say it's a regular uh you know guy with his postage stuff and uh the sign the regular sign post which is you can even put a little flame there. Um, where is the regular? There it is. So you just put that there, or put it put it right there. Um, that's that's better. And uh, get rid of that. And then from there you code it and uh, you double click. Say that this is a graphic. Click on. Where is that graphic? Hit OK. And then you double click show text and then you'd say Chairman Mary's house. Click OK and set it to the same as characters apply. So when uh, your hero or Harris or team walks through uh, the entire city and they come across that sign and they say, oh, whose house? And they hit the space bar excuse me this is going to be mary's house all right so from there let's uh zoom out and we've got one house let's do a side by side and i'll show you the difference of the second house now let's make this a uh, bigger uh, let's not even make this a house let's make it an inn or even better a uh a, an armory or uh, something like that so you have two options. You have this uh, side, which is probably better for um, things like an inn. So you can differentiate the two. And uh, from there, we're going to take this as, as the uh, the underscale. You can see the shade. That's the, the under top. And then whatever we do from here, we can make it as high or as low as we want. That's, uh, yeah, that's good space. Never mind. And we're going to have it flush against the castle walls. There's the low end. There's the upper end. And like what I said about making it a, uh, a bigger uh, sense of space so that when you walk in, you think you're in an inn. Grab those two top corners and just drag along. Now, if you look down, this is the front of the inn. Uh, that's... I guess good enough. Uh, maybe an inn would probably be bigger. Okay, let's just say it's the armory. <laughs> I can't make up my mind. Uh, fill in the middle plate with that, that middle section and fill in the middle plate with this middle section. Uh, from there, we're going to do the same sort of thing. Let's have this have windows instead. Okay, maybe this can be an inn. There you go. So it's a double double floor uh, looking place. Uh, we can make it a four door. We can make it uh, even bigger. And remember what I had for the sides? Let's do the same thing, but make it extra long. So, whoops. Those are the, 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 the starting edges. Oh, let's make it blue. Let's, we're not a boring town with only red people have the right to choose their creative colors there we go 
And now since we've done those as the fronts, we now do these as the sides. So scale it back pretty far, not too far. Yeah, that's, that's nice. And scale it back uh, just as far there. Uh, when you're done, um, you're going to have that so that the, the lines there and do the same thing as you would fill in the top. So now we have a nice looking roof, I believe. Uh, no, I'm mistaken. There was, oh, right. Take the bottom end and just do that. That's what I remember. Um, this bottom end or this top end might, yeah, that's, that's it. So this is like the edge of the roof. I, I think I have it slightly backwards. It's not a big deal. I have, this is the edge of the roof. And then when you do that and you do that, it sort of uh, looks like it's, that's the cutoff. Um, you know, they did their best to have that sort of three dimensional look with the, the built-in plugins that they had. And, you know, there's so much that you can do, right? So now we have um, the outside of the house and uh, for, I, I think for additional purposes, these sandbags, or I, I call them sandbags, are supposed to be the outer edges of the, of the uh, inn or the house. I, I didn't know that until afterwards. To give it that, that um, like cut off dynamic feel um, and that's why this is sort of a, that, that's why this other roof edge is sort of the second layer. So you can stack it. So there's a nice, um, yeah. If you want to take a look at what I've done. Yeah. So it stacks and that, that nicely combs over the, um, the under, the under bits. And it's up to you what you put there. Um, I used these sandbags to be a side reference and they seem to work. You can see them, the transparency of the, the top end nicely goes over and you can double check what the character's going to walk through on the second layer. So upper layer tiles, this is what it's going to look like um, with, with everything together. And event editing is the final top. Um, you know, that doesn't look too great. Uh, let's do do what I just did and say there's a nice uh, little box underneath both of these. There you go. That's what that's what that's going to look like. Right. So not bad. We're, we're doing quite well. You can grab these. It's a uh, <laughs> a church a, a church in. Sure. Hang this above. Uh, where would it not look silly? Maybe like that, uh, you know, we have a double in or, um, uh, what was I going to say? We can have it on top of a box or, or not. It's just pretend that it's just hanging from there. Nice. And, you know, you can have the boxes here and a couple barrels. Don't try and overthink things. These are, are merely decorative tools, but we have, we're starting to build a small castle town, which is, uh, it's, it's manageable, right? So that's why we have the half scale. Um, I'm going to build a couple more things and then call it because, uh, we're now at the 43 minute mark. Let's just go over one more thing we can have an ex as an example. Let's say there's a smithy, right? And they're working out the back, right? So I like to grab this and that's, this looks like a sort of uh, smithy, uh, like um, tool shed. And let's just say the smithy owns a lot of land. He's, he's very rich. So we're gonna gate this community or gate this, the smithy's area by clicking here and selecting this tool to, oh, whoops run uh sorry i'm going a bit fast um save the map data <laughs> uh just do that and sorry sorry sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm rushing i'm i just 
I don't want to make this a two-hour video. It doesn't need to be. Uh, let's do the gate so it runs all the way to here. And end the gate so it's like that. And put the gate down. If you want the gate to go down, you want to use this. This is the other cutoff edge, but this works for both sides. And you'll see in a minute. Um, so there we go. Uh, that'll be his his back work workshop. But you can you can how about you can walk in here and then you can beat him out in the back, which is pretty cool. Um, we can make it even more interesting and have the tiles so that it looks like he's doing a bit of stuff um, on the ground. So it's a, it's slightly more sandy or something like that. We. Uh, I mean, that doesn't look too great. You can uh, sort of play a bit with the um, what you want in between. And you can certainly, you know, click a little bit so it, it, it doesn't miss all those tiles. You know, it's like maybe he, he was working so hard on a project that he needed the earth itself. Um, yeah, so do something like that. Uh, let's scale back in to see what that's going to look like on the uh, upper mode. It's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, then finally, let's do, as a third, we're going to do, see what this looks like. So let's, yeah, let's wrap it up like that. Um, let's say the gate is an edge community. We're going to do that as the, the ends. You can have this as the ends, right? Uh, put the end there. Because we, we also want the um, the gate to move down past uh, where the uh, building is, right? And cut off. Or just uh, put it there, just like that, and then have the building rise um, so that it, it, meet, it meets this edge. Uh, and this is the smithy, like I said, so... Grab a middle a middle piece, and just start scaling up right right into the, the the top there, and then we'll use the shingles once again in a minute, or we can actually be fancy and just have th this as a as a top. I mean, there's there's plenty of different you can use these as tops, right? There's no stopping you. Let's use this as a top and see how that looks. Um, Try your style, try what you like, and um, see how it goes. There you go. That's the bottom layer. And I kind of want to import this now into my own game because it just it, it just looks great. I, I, I've, I haven't exactly built a, a castle or an area before, but um, since my game is about being stuck on an island, there is no random castle there. It's not... Uh, per se, um, what it's, what it's looking for. Uh, I'm going to wrap up here very quickly. Uh, weeds, weeds, right? And then we're, uh, we already have the, the top there. We can just add this small little piece. I always like to add roof, whatever I can. And f the final thing, this is <laughs> an armory. This is a... <laughs> A shield place, armory, and weapon place, uh, and um, gated. And then you can have uh, that that sign, or you can have a, a little post post-it note here that says this is the pub um, that can be reached, of course. All right, so I'm gonna end it there. We're almost hit 50 minutes, which is so awesome. Um, that's what it looks like to scale. All you have to do is fill out the rest of these things. I have the utmost confidence that you guys can do so. Uh, this is the start of, uh, of a castle. And um, thank you for uh, watching this uh, video tutorial on how to build a castle and how to build um, uh, house, houses inside the castle. Um, this is Colin once again. I'm going to... I, I just uploaded some soundtracks of the game, but I'll, uh, it, this is a year or two year project that's going to take a very long time. Uh, it's something that I wanted to do and um, 
you know, hopefully it turns out to be a great game and it gets seen by everybody. And, you know, like, share, follow, subscribe, whatever all those people say. Um, you know, I'm not a, a YouTuber, but I'm, I, I try and I do my best. Um, all right. Anyways, signing off. This is Colin. Peace out.